Um, right, so since we're all sharing some personal experiences, I'm going to share something. Um, it was only a few days ago when I went to the Ministry of Foreign Affairs to pick up some things for a session. And the first thing I, right after I introduced myself, I was like, ah, my Sianergi. I was like, that's like, oh, you're unemployed. Um, and I was shocked because I'm not currently unemployed, but my response was, excuse me, but is it because I'm young? Or that you're considering that I am unemployed? And you've been mentioning changes of attitudes, you've been mentioning us being optimistic and climbing the mountains and all these very idealistic push that we need. And the 17 year olds, I am strongly supportive of the fact that they should be encouraged to um, not lose faith in everything. Um, what I wanted to shift the attention back into is, personally, I'm very optimistic and I'm really, really keen to come back to Cyprus and you know, find my way through because I have the will. The trouble that I've seen arise is the attitude from the inside the attitude from governmental people or the experienced ones. Because we seek experience, we come knock your door and we have the part-time jobs and we have the volunteering and we have all these skills that the people at the beach don't. But it's the attitude from the inside that's blocking us. And focusing back to Irene's question is, yes, I do have the will to come back and I do have the will to work. But 500 euros won't feed me, won't even pay for my gas to go to work somewhere. Or 250 if I come back to become a lawyer, that's not gonna pay anything. So why should I leave my job in the UK and con see, like stop contributing to the brain drain and come back to Cyprus or go to our next door and knock the door and get a bunch of paper. Oh, come on, fill in this form and we'll put you into this system or get a job or nothing, basically. So if it's not so much a question, it's basically throwing the ball back to you because we have private sector and public sector and we have the attitude to work. But if I'm gonna fight through narrow-mindedness and not having people that really understand what I'm trying to say because I don't have the experience, then I might as well stay away. So what can we do about that? Who wants the ball? <laughs> I agree with you. Society in the government, of course. But first of all, if you want to change things, usually change comes from a young generation. And revolution will start from the few. So what to do? If you want to change things, you need to fight the system. I I, I see it as a commissioner when a governmental employer, employee, when I say something, or reacts. So he reacts or she because she doesn't have the knowledge, the skills, or because it's too much work for them. But we need to fight, fight the system. When you are active, one of the responsibilities is to try to change the system. So, what you said, why should I come back and go through the process of fighting the system? What well, is our responsibility? Everyone. Second of all, I agree with you that I get all this volunteer experience, all this certification, and so on, but who is going to take notice of this? That's what I said before about the recognition, the recognition of formal, formal learning. The recognition, for example, Microsoft has three days pay leave for, the, for their employer if they do volunteer work. So 
whoever works in the Microsoft, you can go, say, these three days I will go to this uh, NGO, and work there. Why the Microsoft students image, but also the person that works on Microsoft feels better for itself and gain experiences. This is recognition. That's what we want to do. I said the last year I was an IJ. I was a CISCA, like Maria was. When I studied in the US, we had to take six, six credits physical education. I was a lifeguard, I was uh, have a certification for sailboat, and so, so I didn't need to take the six, six credits. Means, means less money, let's have to study. This is also a recognition of non formal non so, yes, that's why I said before that we are in a process of recognizing this, so we'll give you more tools officially now to work with. Anyway, all these knowledge as you gain, it is a treasure for everybody. But at the end of the day is that it's easy to say, I will say stay in New York or in London and work there, but as you heard, you heard it's not so easy as we think it is. And the life there is not a, so easy as in Cyprus. You might travel to go to work for two hours to go and try to come back. You leave at seven, you come back at 10 or 11 at night. You're not gonna work nine to five, like in Cyprus, for example. So we should not take only the positive things when you work abroad. You should take also the minus things when you work abroad. So it's not one picture that's clear it's only good when you work in the UK or the United States. It's not. There's a lot of things you need to take on board. There's a lot of things that you need to do. I know that it's difficult for you. You have this insecurity for the future, but as I said before, it's one step at a time. And what you can do is to give yourself all the tools that you can get, absorb, to make uh, your life and finding a job easier. And to do that, you need to come here and fight and put time on it to get these tools and experiences. Can I uh, add something else? Okay. Uh, I know now you're, you're sitting there and you're, some of you are like, oh, wow, this is very inspiring. But some of you are just thinking, okay, this is just ideology, you know. Metaphors, we're quoting all these famous people. Uh, how practical is it? Well, and why should I come back to Cyprus after being in the UK or wherever, and you know, leave my job where you know I have a stable future, and then come to Cyprus? Um, I've been out of Cyprus. I've been every single day for the past five years. Every time I start speaking in English or I speak in Greek and a, and a uh, English word escapes me and I'm speaking Greek English or whatever they call it now. Uh, I always get asked with the same question. Where are you from? And I say to them, um, well, I was originally from New York. I say, New York? Why'd you come back here? <laughs> and I'll give you, it, it's a very uh, lengthy explanation, but you know, as I said, it's very competitive in America. It's very competitive in the UK, and I've worked in both of the places. And you know, the the lifestyle that you live—you work crazy long hours, and maybe you know, to become successful, you might have to work these hours here as well. But you know, after being two years or a year in the UK, and you come back to Cyprus. You know, the reason you should come back is because you're not going to get the job for 250 euros or 500 euros. That's going to be given to somebody that graduated university and came straight here. You're going to get double that. And that's how you're going to start. 